Hey everybody, I have a uh, Coco 3 here that I just finished putting a uh, Gimme X and 8 meg board into for somebody that I'm getting ready to send off so I was testing it a bit and uh, as part of that I hooked up all the displays that the Gimme X will drive to test it and it adds a few new video outputs so you can see all the the cables going on back here. Uh, there's actually five different video outputs that uh, Gimme X Coco 3 can put out. And I set up displays for all of them and have them all running simultaneously. So we can check them out here. And uh, let's see, I'm just going to run a little something. This is this is composite coming out of the composite port on the back. That's VGA. That is 15 kilohertz um, RGB from the bottom port on a display that can handle that signal just through a passive cable. This is S video, and this is the RF output over here. So, let's see, let's run something here, um, so um, the Gimme X actually has two um, video DACs on it, one is a 15 kilohertz DAC and the other one is the 31 kilohertz DAC for uh, the VGA, the 15 kilohertz DAC, um, generates the video signals that are run through an encoder chip for both the composite and the S video. It's also the output to the motherboard through that composite connection is also what drives the RF modulator. And then that 15 kilohertz DAC is also what drives the 15 kilohertz RGB, of course. And the second DAC running at the higher scan rate is the VGA. Um, let's see. So, um, this actually greatly enhances the the composite output from a Coco 3. It, it's a lot better than the original Gimme composite. It uses the closest end, uh, NTSC equivalents of um, RGB. So, same palette and everything as the regular the RGB output would be. It's all coming off of that DAC. And you can see, I don't know how well the camera will do with these CRTs, but that's some pretty good composite there. There's a little bit of a close-up of the, the VGA. That 15 kilohertz RGB is really nice, and that'll drive your CM8 um, directly. It's got voltages in that range. And with a few uh, series resistors on the RGB lines, it takes it down to the appropriate levels for a 15 kilohertz RGB capable display like this NEC AccuSync. Yes, video is not too bad either. I'll show some other screens too. And the RF, that might be about as good as RF has ever been on a Coco 3. <laughs> So let's see, let's uh, look at some of the colors here. Actually, yeah, you can see it here. Let's see, RF. Be the fuzziest one, of course. Still not terrible.
S video. Is it 15 kilohertz RGB? VGA. And the composite. Alright, now I'm going to run a Coco 2 game that uses artifacting. Show a little bit about how that's handled. And so we have, um, now this is the default mode for handling artifacts and it's as you might be used to with the Cocos. Um, you're going to have, these are genuine um, composite artifacts that are in the NTSC signal there on the composite as well as it shows up on the RF as well. And of course, from the other outputs, you have just black and white, which is what the signal really is. So, but we have simulated artifacts on the Gimme X. So, there's a little button here on the button board. And we can put it in it, cause it to display our simulated artifacts. Now, this actually overrides the NTSC artifacts, and so now this is simulated artifacts on the composite. And on VGA. And on the 15 kilohertz RGB. Yes, video. And the RF. So that's kind of what I wanted to show you. Um, if anybody is familiar with how terrible that um, the stock composite is on the the Coco 3, you can probably see from this composite output that it's quite a bit improved, and even the RF is not bad there. Wait, let's see. Uh, in fact, it's nearly readable in 80 column on the RF output even. so even on the uh, composite, although, you know, CRTs don't like video cameras much, or video cameras don't like them much. And of course, you know, on the others, CS video here, it's nice and clear. So, that is what I wanted to show you. And that's it. Thanks for watching.